to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter with the speed Trying to stand on my knees, go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window Trying to stop for a sign What's up y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. I would like to give a special shout out to Eolia Eyeglassware for sending over these three amazing quality pieces that they sent over for me to review. I want to start off by saying the packaging came A1 and I love the sunglasses that I picked out. I like to say that these are the Prada dupes and I love that they are great quality and they're very thick. Moving on to the eyeglassware, y'all know I love me a good black frame. I thought that these would make my work day look a little bit more elegant since y'all know that I work from home. So I wanted to give a bit more spoofs of when I'm working. I did like that the sunglasses really did block the sun from your eyes when you're outside, but you still had that light tint to be able to see what you're doing. That was a plus for me with these glasses. Moving on to the eyeglass wear, I prefer these ones for when I'm working because they did have the blue light tint. But also, just because I do work from home, like I mentioned, it just gives me that pizzazz that you don't really necessarily get when you go into office. You know how you like to dress up. I glass where it gives me that dress up feel from working from home. So make sure you shop the links down below for my favorite picks that you see in this video and use my discount code Avianda15. Now let's hop into today's vlog and thank you Eolia for sponsoring today's video.
y'all welcome back to another vlog i didn't even come in here and introduce myself i just hopped right onto this vlog but we about to go into aldi girl i haven't shopped in aldi in years like i haven't shopped on um at aldi when i was on welfare i haven't shopped there when it was just me and the kids so hopefully they still hitting what they need to hit for but i ain't even gonna lie to you when i was on welfare and i had that bridge card i don't know if that's what it's called in other states like food stamps bridge card i don't know what it's called but when i used to get that i didn't care about looking at prices but now since your girl has to use her own funds and not government assistance baby we looking at all prices so now we're about to go on audio to see what kind of snacks i can get now i'm not gonna get like a big huge selection of snacks because one i don't have the kids this week meaning the older kids and then two we get all of our snacks in bulk at costco or sam's club so that's where we're at with it so we're about to go in here and see what kind of like air fryer type meals that they got and my husband needs some potatoes for dinner tonight because he's making steaks so let's see what Audi is giving per usual i do remember that you have to pay like a quarter to get a basket yeah we're at aldi and i do have a quarter so yeah I'm trying to see y'all. I got these glasses. I don't know how. They are big on my face. I'm just going to say that. I just don't think that this is. I seen Janae with these in a, a, cup, a cup full of YouTubers wear these type of glasses. And I don't think they fit my face. Or maybe I'm just not. I don't know. But I like them. So. And they are sponsoring this video today. So I'm going to wear them. However, they're cute. I like them. I like that they really do block the sh uh, the sun. Like, you wouldn't think they would because of the light tint on here. But they really block the sun, and I like that. That's what I do like. But I don't think that this frame fits my face. But the glasses itself is super cute. Let's go in here, girl, because it's like... I want my glasses. You want your what? I want my glasses. Let me tell y'all something. I am not one of them, we got McDonald's at home type of parents. Even though my husband about to probably cuss me out because he just put some steaks on the grill. But I was starving. I haven't eaten nothing all day since I went and got my shot. So Wendy's got these new, like, I guess you could say they're boneless wings at this point because they have like the uh, different sauces for the nuggets. So I wanted to try, I think I got the spicy garlic parm. And they smell good. And Gabby got her some nuggets. Oh, you know what they did? They used a spicy nuggets. Look at it. This is so unhealthy. They used spicy nuggets with some garlic parm. Um, mm -mm. Nope. That's actually pretty disgusting. I don't like it. So it's hours later from when me and Gabby returned. Don't mind her hair, y'all. She gotta get it done. But uh, I'm gonna just show y'all the little stuff that I got from. Uh, mommy, uh, mommy, the blueberries. The blueberries is right here. No. What I got from the fruit market? No. Just a. a no. No. A, a, a 
grapes. Oh yeah, where is the grapes? Ma, Daddy can be in, in the future. No, no, you do. Yeah. I'll just show y'all a few of what we, what me and Gabby grabbed out of the fruit market and what we got from Aldi. And then my little mini, like I got a, a few, two, three items from Target. So I'm just kind of catch all up. We got some grapes. Um, we got some blueberries. We got some strawberries. I got two things of strawberries. Um, we got a bunch of bananas. We got some honey crisp apples. And that's all we got from the fruit market. So all of that fruit that I got was about five or six bucks. That's why I like going to that fruit market because I just get a bang for my buck there and I don't have to spend that much. And so, um, I got these Juicy Birds. These are some fruit snacks. I got her some Mini Bears Grams. Um, it's the honey kind and they come in the individual packets. So it's easy for me to pack her lunch for school. Um, Y'all seen this? I end up, my husband eats double stuffed Oreos. I do not eat those. I got some blueberry bagels. I mean, I'm sorry, cinnamon uh, raisin bagels. So this will probably be uh, me and Gabby's breakfast this week. I got um, some artesian flatbread. So again, like I said, it's just me and my husband and the smaller kids this week. So I'm gonna probably make this for me and my husband this week for dinner. I'm gonna I got some pepperoni, so I'm gonna probably do pepperoni and bacon. I'm gonna probably do a chicken pizza. So. It comes with two of them, so we're gonna utilize that. Maybe for dinner or lunch. No, I got some pizza sauce just because I didn't know if we had any. So I just wanted to make sure we had some, and I got some pepperoni. Some uh, kombucha, the pink lady apple. I heard that this was the best one. So I'm gonna try that one out. I got some cheese bread sticks for a side for dinner or just for lunch. And then I got uh, some mozzarella for the flatbread that I'm gonna make. And then I got a thing of potatoes. So that's all what we got from our little grocery haul, y'all. I did not spend. No, you're not getting a banana. I did not spend. I don't even think I spent $50 today. Cause I went to Aldi. I got all this stuff from Aldi and I got the fruit market stuff. I got um, this cute little garden. Y'all know, cause these past few vlogs I've been out in um, on the porch. So I end up getting um, a gardening tool set that comes with the scissors, the shovel, and like, I think that's a rake or whatever, cause I'm doing a planter. So I end up getting this from Target because I just wanted to have my set handy. And I got this plastic one because Gabby likes to help water the containers and I did end up getting a metal one, but y'all know when you put water in here, it can get heavy. So I just got her her own one and it was this was only like three bucks. It was, it's by Roma Essentials. So I got her that and then I got this cute aesthetic one just so I can be able to water my flowers when I don't want to get down. Uh, when I don't want to go off the porch, basically, I can just fill this up in the house and go outside and water my garden. Karim, he went to Dave and Buster's with his dad and he ended up getting like a Mommy. Stanley Duke cup, Mommy. but it. Mommy, okay, one moment. It was like a Stanley Duke cup, um, cup, but it had Dave and Buster's all over it. So he was doing really, like he had it this week and he was drinking his water, like refilling it. So that's mainly what I'm trying to get the kids to do is just drink more water. I'm trying to cut out their juice intake. Even though I do not buy juices, um, we do get the delivery service. And usually once that juice is gone, we don't buy any additional. I don't know, for some reason, the Stanley's just remind me of like girl cups. So when I seen the black one um, with the, the um, what do you call this? Not metallic. Uh, stainless steel, I guess you could say. Um, it get, it gave boy vibes. So I got this for him so he'll see this when he comes home. This is Jade's, y'all see when I got Jade's. I really wanna get this ounce. I think this is the 30 ounce, if I'm not mistaken. I just think it's more easier to hold versus the big one. You know what I'm saying? Like the big one is, is heavy. So um, we are a Stanley Cup family. <laughs> well, Yeti, my husband loves Yeti. He not gonna get a Stanley. Okay, so I'm watching this show on Netflix called Super Sale. Oh, y'all locked in. Like the first episode is like 
a whole movie within itself is crazy but definitely a good watch if you're looking for something to watch supercell seems like it's pretty good i'm only on episode two so yeah we're gonna finish I'm, I'm about to either turn on your honor or a lot of my girls that i watch on youtube dropped some videos this past weekend and i just been so busy i ain't been able to uh catch up so i'm about to do that i'm probably gonna do that and then let me show y'all yeah i don't think i showed y'all gabby's um what we got from the crate and barrel outlet first off y'all because it wasn't a lot of people in there and the warehouse echoed so i didn't want to talk so that's why that clip that y'all seen um it's a montage because I couldn't talk. I love everything. I don't, this is the first time Michigan is has gotten a Crate and Barrel outlet. And baby, we've been missing the, ow. Y'all like the set that I want to go in our game room ran us about 5,800 from like brand new in the Crate and Barrel store. Y'all, why did I find the whole set? Come on. Come on camera, pick it up. You know what, I don't even know why I do this to myself. I'ma just pop it here. I found the whole entertainment set for $2,500. Nothing's wrong with it. Not, like not a scratch, not a dent. I don't know why it got sent to the outlet, but I said, oh, we're probably gonna have to get that. The problem is the outlet is about a good 30 to 40 minute drive. So I don't know how we're gonna get this home because it cannot fit in the Escalade. And I think I might have to ask. I mean, we might have to pay for like the third party delivery service. I don't know. I just think that that is a steal. Um, but this is the bed. I'm gonna pop the picture here that I got Gabby. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's like a um, wood tone type of bed. I love it. It's a queen size. I can't wait. I have to take that wallpaper down though because it's just not gonna go with the vibes that I'm giving. Just everything in this outlet was just giving. Like all of the kids stuff that is just super overly priced in my opinion at Crate and Barrel was like a target price. Like I'm going back there to get some stuff for Gabby's room. So this is, I'm gonna pop the pictures here of all of the inspo that I have for Gabby's room. And this is particularly, this is the bed right here. This whole picture was the starting inspo for me. I also really loved this one here, like the colors. So this is the colors that I'm gonna go with Gabby's room. Please stop and that, that rug I want to find that rug so that's kind of where I'm going with Gabby's room I had time to debrief from last vlog and just kind of calm myself down and really zone in and focus on what I want to do for her room and that's what we got so the bed is the starting point so I'm so glad I was able to get her bed Deuce's furniture is coming and so we're all just about to that's gonna be the next couple of vlogs is just tying that in. Let's put this stuff up y'all and I'm about to turn on the YouTube girly. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Peloton to see what strength classes they had available. Your girl not doing that. We're gonna wait till tomorrow. But anyway, I wanted to get on here because I forgot to show y'all the some couple more items that I picked up in the background that I didn't show y'all. But I did not know I was today years old when I found out that Scrub Daddy has the actual sponges, like not the round one, but just like the square. Then I got these are the Alani 
pouches that I was telling y'all about that I could just drop in my water so I don't have to keep buying the cans. Y'all, when I say that this is any energy drink, I don't know if people like don't drink energy drinks because they be like, oh. I don't feel like this does that, but again, I, I drink energy drinks, so I might just be used to it. But it has no, I don't know why my camera's on this. I gotta fix this. So you can see it's t only 10 calories. It has no added sugars and it has a bunch of um, vitamins and biotin inside of it. But I think that this is a good healthy alternative. If you, I picked this up while I find this at Menards. I don't know if it's my target or if I just don't be paying attention to the dishwashing liquids. Um, but I wanted to try, well, I wanted to smell this and it smells amazing. So um, even though I do like the power wash, that's been my favorite. Um, thing ever but this one is super oh it smells so good and it's pink so I end up picking this up in my eyes but I'm about to be out of here y'all I'm tired I'm about to go do this skincare I'll show y'all sometime this week but your girl is tired and I'm ready to get in bed bye the next day I gotta pick up Gabby's uh bed from Crate and Barrel the outlet and so I need to take down all this stuff in the escalate and y'all I'm so pissed so I was editing this vlog up until this point and this is I swear I keep on pushing off but I gotta get a new laptop because everything is gone like I gotta redo the fucking editing and this video is supposed to go up tomorrow night and I'm irritated and I got a spot. If it wasn't for that sponsorship in this video, I would have pushed this video back. But y'all about to get it. So y'all might not get no cute, fancy stuff up until this point. If you got made it this far and the video is crappy editing, that is why. Well, let me do this. Yes, it pays to have a long body boy. Y'all, I didn't realize how big when you get the extension. So this is the long sleeve. I'm not used to no truck like this because back in the day, well shit, probably now still. But when I was <clears throat> growing up, all the hood boys, dope dealers, niggas who had money had the long sleeve. <laughs> It's probably still that way. I don't know, but this is huge. So hopefully, this the uh, bed just slides right on in. I think it should be good because I did measure it. But you never know, girl. Oh, I don't think I ever showed y'all because I was tired of showing this dog on outside. But these is the trees I bought from at home. Y'all like them? I still got the tags on them, as you can see, because I'm debating on if I want to keep them there. But for the most part, they look good. I was just thinking, like, I probably could have kept those planters because these trees are kind of tall and I didn't even really want them to be that tall I probably could have just set them in the planter but I did end up putting these um, planters down here at the end of the garage and then I end up getting this um, more sturdier one right here like that so then I'm just gonna replant that pot and I'm gonna put it in here so we'll probably do that in this video as well depending on what I feel like doing because that t uh, computer pissed me clean off. So that's gonna look nice. The grass is still dead over there. We gotta get it. But the rest of the grass is coming in, so. Okay. I'm in this doggone big old bus. 
I'm not complaining because it's saving me to where I don't have to pay for delivery. But, man. Anyways, y'all. Not only do I have to go get this dog on bed, I have to stop at Somerset, which is our Lux Mall that has like all the designer brands. Because I have to get us an anniversary gift because our anniversary is get us. I mean, Marcel is an anniversary gift because um, our anniversary is Wednesday. So I have to pick up his gift. I'm just getting him um, an Hermes buck bucket hat to go with the Hermes um, sneakers that I bought him. I think last year or the year before. One of them. And y'all, so I gotta take my vitamins. Like, look at all of these vitamins. So I'm taking the Lemmy right now. So I got the Lemmy Burn. I did not take any. I didn't take my uh, Alani's today. And I got the Lemmy D Bloat. This is the one that I'm really trying to see is if, if it's effective. And then the fiber. My These are the fiber. I don't know if y'all can see that. They're called Sparkle fiber um the fiber is good because i'm on this shot so um they tell you to take the fiber so that you can not be constipated so that's that's why i take ooh, that's why i take the fiber so yes um i feel like my camera gonna overheat but i feel like i gave away my stash uh, so I don't really have any backup and I want to give me some more champagne toast because I don't know I gotta go in and smell these other ones because I don't really like I don't know is it me or I like to keep the same scent in my house because when you start to mix those scents especially through bath and body works your house tends to not smell I don't know I don't I don't like the scents blending especially with our house being a open concept house so all the rooms are kind of together unless it's upstairs is one one cent downstairs is another so i'm about to try to do that while i'm driving so i can catch this sale because they're all eight dollars which is kind of what i want y'all know usually that's candle day sale i don't know candle day is either six or eight one of them anyways that's what i'm about to do while we make our way to this store all right, y'all. So they hadn't broken down the bed since yesterday when I bought it. So they was able to fit it in with no problem. But y'all, why did I get some cashmere pillow covers for $3.97? Look at the detail, the black detail. And then it's the ivory color, but this is kind of like the taupe color. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll probably show it at home. But she rung them up and she was like, oh, they're on sale for $54. And I was like, well, how much are they regular? She was like, they're $149. A pillow cover. First off, who is buying a $149 pillow cover? Without the pillow, just the cover. Anyways, I took her over to where the sign showed 20 inch pillow covers for three dollars and 97 cents y'all why was it the outdoor pillow covers and but she was like i'm gonna just honor it for you so technically <laughs> i got 300 dollars worth of pillow covers for 12 dollars and some change so i'll take that but who who is it real cashmere i'm gonna look it up if it's real cashmere i definitely that's highway robbery right there y'all my butt was out there in that doggone lawn so now we're in gabby room and basically what i want to do in her room is um i want to go through her toys to see which ones we're gonna keep in her room which ones we're gonna put in the game room and which ones we're just gonna get rid of so a lot of her stuff too is new y'all so like <sighs> the vision that I'm going for now, I really don't know if these dressers go with that vision because y'all see how it went with the bed. Um, but I think I think it may do may oops, may work. I'm just gonna end up probably scooting them over just because her bed is a queen size bed. And then my husband was like, "Why don't you just see how the bed looks up against the wallpaper?" I just think that it's too bland. Why don't you keep? the wall and then paint this wall a color so that way that wall can pop and i was like oh i could do that versus taking the wallpaper off 
so that it would, would kind of flow. So yeah. I'm trying to push through because normally I don't I just do stuff and I stop and I never come back so I'm trying to push through y'all look at all this stuff so I kind of had it I kind of know where stuff was going like all of this stuff is going to kind of stay in her room I just got to organize the little spots this is all going in the game room and then all this other stuff I'm just about to throw in this trash bag because it's just either I can't find the missing pieces or it's all her old toys that I didn't save and put up to keep in good condition so a lot of the stuff that's going in the game room are all the neutral tone um toys meaning like unisex toys toys that are now of age for Marcellus to play with so I'm gonna put those in there so he has something to play with and the main piece that I want to get is her nightstands next and find a row, so yeah. 7 p.m. Friday, it's 95 degrees. I ain't got no nigga, and no nigga ain't got me. I'm turned up like that at 10, 10 30 in the morning, anyways, y'all. Good morning. It is the next day. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do in that last clip. I am about to go in here and try to find myself as an anniversary gift. I'm taking y'all on my DJI pocket. I haven't used this in like three years. And Marcellus be fussing at me because he the one who bought me it to make it easy when I'm vlogging in public. So let's go. We're going into Hermes. I know what I want to get him is if Hermes actually have it in the store for me to take home today. So let go. She found to take me no in this cat, nigga can't even see me on wins. She found a flight, nigga in this cat. She found a flight, man, way out of here. She tried to fly, nigga, can't even see me on way out of here, I'm too far in the sky Hermes, ash for the dark, my ash, bitch so pretty, look better than Cassie Puffin' on Zooters and she callin' me daddy, walkin' on shit, turn it up and I guess Came out the car and ain't never me to swaggin', secure the bag, out of bitch, I'm a beggin' Turnin' it up, got a match, she good, parkin' two million and buildin' my hood Drinkin' no mud, I made out of the sewer Hard to sense me, do that one good. Out of these niggas, they lookin' the same. They copy my lingo, they bite in my chain. Championship, championship, ain't just gon' empty. She bitch breakin' niggas, they lookin' the key. Heard it a fountain, but make it a counter. Don't bring me this money like they from religion. This could be a man, they're sad, they vanity. Nigga, they try to compare with him by D. Them that touch the hundreds, they piss off the gig. They came out the drunk, they kidnap the key. I turn by the bellows, bitch, put on the crib. Well, look at the ocean, it's my 30 M. Ain't the one I'm at, this is the young man. I keep me no footy, no matter what I'm in. I have such an edge, no fancy. Korean, you fuck with me 